It's NAM time, my favorite time of year, and what better way to celebrate the return of my favorite time of year than to talk about Ernie Ball, Music Man's brand new 2022 NAM guitar lineup. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome to my video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to come hang out with me. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I am so excited and jazzed up, man, because uh, yeah, dude, it's the best time of year. It's like the holiday season for guitar players. It's Nam. Nam's back, you know, went away obviously for a couple years. It's back in 2022. And uh, yeah, man, our argue <laughs> arguably, God, I was struggling with that word. Arguably the best company in the game, man. Ernie Ball Music Man is back and they dropped a bombshell last night on social media. And uh, I want to dive in and talk about it as well as talk about the rest of their guitar line for 2022. So up on your screen right now, we have the brand new Ernie Ball Music Man, new at NAM 2022 guitar lineup. Now, a lot of familiar faces, but there is a new sheriff in town that is right here, and we're going to get to that right now. So scrolling on down, we have the boom. Whoa, dude. <laughs> we have what is called, I believe if, if you pronounce it right, or if I pronounce it right, the Kaizen guitar in collaboration with Tosin Abasi. Yes, yeah, so we have a brand new, from the ground up, we'll say, guitar from Ernie Ball Music Man. And I want to say this right off the bat. Congrats to Tosin and congrats to Ernie Ball Music Man for creating something that is brand new. It is very, very hard to do to create something completely brand new and just like um, fresh, we'll say, um, where there's just so many new guitars and so many just companies just kind of recycling the same thing. It's very hard to stand out. And I believe in my own honest opinion, just from the visuals and the presentation and, you know, the concept behind this guitar, um, I really think this is something new and fresh. So taking a look at these five guitars right here, we'll look at the aesthetics and the visuals first because that's all we kind of really have to go off of right now as these aren't officially out yet. I want to take a look at them and I just have to say, I got to be honest with myself and be honest with you all, visually and aesthetically, not necessarily my favorite thing in the world. Now, I'm just a guy with an opinion and for those of you who have been watching my channel and watching my guitar journey, you guys know I'm a traditionalist at heart, a dad rocker at heart, right? So a multi-scale fan fret seven string with the tremolo and some unique headstock tuners and some crazy ergonomic designs probably wouldn't be my first choice of a guitar just right off the bat visually. Now, I could totally eat a ton of crow when I get this in my hands at like a guitar center or whatever, if I, you know, ever come across one, right? I could totally just, you know, retract all of these statements right now. But again, visually, just not necessarily my favorite thing um, or my favorite design of a guitar. Like I said, I'm a man with an opinion and I shouldn't have to justify you know, my opinion and kind of explain myself. I'm allowed to have an opinion, right? As are you. So with that being said, I just want to take the time to praise this guitar and just talk about it and check out the specs and uh, just really just give props where props are due. Ernie Ball Music Man and Tosin just created something brand new. So I'm so stoked and happy for all them. And the majority of everybody in the guitar community and on the internet just seem to be absolutely loving this announcement thus far. Built for the modern player and influenced by Tosin Abasi's unique design and aesthetic and playing style, the Kaizen is an all-new visionary collaboration between the award-winning Ernie Ball Music Man design team and the virtual guitars and manufacturer. The Kaizen will be offered in an alder body, roasted maple neck, and ebony board. Watch the official Kaizen guitar film featuring Tosin Abasi here. Yeah, so I don't know if I've seen the whole film, but I've certainly seen the press release on Instagram. Guitar looks wild, man. It looks so futuristic. It looks like it belongs in the future. And uh, yeah, so... Congrats again, one more time to Tosin and Ernie Ball Music Man, man, so cool. One thing I love, first thing right, right off the bat in terms of the specs is the multi-scale length um, scale. <laughs> Allow myself to introduce myself. Um, but yeah, dude, I love how the, the higher register starts at 24 and three quarters. I think that's so rad because a lot of multi-scale guitars, they start at 25 and a half. And for me, I come from Les Paul land and you know single cut land. So I like having the wiggle room on the higher register and then having the uh, tension on the lower strings. I'm not really a fan of multi-scale guitars that 25, start at 25 and a half because it's like, ah, I want the wiggle room, you know, when I, you know, play in the upper register. So. That being said, 24 and three quarters, I think is a very smart choice. Infinity radius neck, strategically positioned conical radius increases conical. I don't know what that word, I'm not sure what that means, but positioned conical radius increases comfort while maintaining enhanced 
visibility of the fretboard and fret markers. Don't know what all that means, but it sounds like it's gonna play fast, right? <laughs> Steinberger gearless locking tuners, accurate lightweight tuners that feature a smooth rotation and allow a straight string pull. Yeah, so if you guys have seen pictures of these tuners, this headstock and these tuners remind me of like a Gibson Firebird. Really unique and really different. And I don't mean different in a bad way. I mean, in a good way, like this is something I personally really have never seen. Um, I'm sure maybe there's something out there similar, but for me, regardless, just new and fresh and it just looks like, you know, something I've never seen before, especially from Ernie Ball Music Man, right? New Music Man pickups, a custom HT heat treated humbucker in the bridge position and a slanted mini humbucker in the neck position have been specifically designed for the Kaizen. So you guys gotta let me know, what does a heat treated humbucker do? Um, I don't know, but uh, sounds cool, right? But also too, just like a slanted mini humbucker here and then a heat treated humbucker, like, way like so wild dude in a good way like just so unique like we got a mini humbucker in the neck and it's slanted and then we got a heat treated humbucker in the bridge like totally totally different man i love that i love that for better or for worse i love how it just different it is decidedly contoured ultra lightweight design deliberate body carves for extreme comfort well balanced and unrestricted fret access yeah so you knew this thing would be ergonomic especially for somebody like tosin and tosin helped design it um, I mean, Abasi Concepts and his, you know, old Ibanezes were like super like ergonomic, just like crazy futuristic guitars. And so obviously when this guitar was being designed, I would imagine Tosin really was doing his thing to make sure it was extremely ergonomic and just effortless to play because the genre of music and what he likes to play is just insanely technical and fast. So, you know, less is more in terms of having guitar design like get it you know get the guitar out of the way and let the player do the thing that's what i'm trying to say available multiple finishes the instrument will be available first as a seven string this holiday season with a six string available in 2023 okay so these are coming out around christmas time and then we'll get a six string next year based on these five guitars right here i love this one right here it kind of looks like a holographic pokemon card that's rad I love this bluish purple and I love that kind of Daphne sky blue guitar. But also too, I know these two will do very, very well, especially this one, the stealth bomber of sorts, that looks rad. And a white guitar with a blacked out hardware always looks good. You can't go wrong with that contrast. So overall, um, these guitars look pretty, pretty sick. And I know Ernie Ball Music Man always kills it with the visuals and their finishes and their paint jobs, all the above. So I know these things will look killer in person. So regardless, man, what a wild guitar, man. And what a cool thing for the guitar industry just to see something this huge, this big to come out literally out of nowhere. One thing a lot of people are asking and to the best of my knowledge and the best of my research, Tosin is not leaving a bossy concepts or abandoning ship there. I think he literally just was like, I don't know if he got invited or what, but somewhere along the way, he kind of did a little sidestep and did this with Ernie Ball Music Man. And, uh, you know, makes sense because Ernie Ball Music Man makes amazing guitars. And um, yeah, just what a cool opportunity. So, I mean, can't blame the guy, right? So he's not leaving Abasi Concepts. And I, to the best of my knowledge, I don't believe he's now exclusive to Music Man. I don't know, but I just think this was just a cool collaboration. Really, really unique and just wild in a good way. So that is a long winded description and coverage of a brand new guitar, but it deserves it, man. So with that being said, now we have some familiar faces with the Ernie Ball Music Man line, starting with the 2022 John Petrucci collection. John Petrucci, legend, legend, you know, legend guitars. He gets amazing guitars from Ernie Ball Music Man seemingly almost every single year. Now we have some brand new majesties. And one thing I love about these majesties is we have, at, at first glance, I thought these were like the same as what we've seen in the past. However, these are black painted guitars, but the shields have the color. I think that's cool, man. I think this one right here is my favorite. I said it a million times. I'll say it a million and one times. Purple doesn't get enough love. So the black with the purple shield, the blue shield, red shield, green, it all looks sick, man. Um, one thing I love about Ernie Ball Music Man is they have really descriptive finish, like word, like cool words, like o Okalani Blue, Wisteria Blossom, Sang Juin Red, and Emerald Sky. I think like that just is way cooler than just saying like red, blue, purple, green, right? I think that's cool. However, they keep getting cooler, man. I love these majesties as well. Now we have an all natural wood majesty as well as a flamed crazy purple burst majesty. I love this one right here, the roasted maple flame maple with the burst look seemingly looking like on the fretboard itself but then we have like a black burst on the body with the gold pole pieces and the blacked out hardware 
Match that with this one right here, a purple burst. Ernie Ball Music Man killed it with these Majesties. They just... <laughs> Who's got a... Very tough to top these guitars. And we're, you know, we're day... I don't even, I don't even know when Nam is. I think it's this weekend, but like... We, it just started and like Ernie Ball Music Man is just dropping like just banger after banger of guitars, man. So super, super rad to see. Got some new JP-15s. We got a purple one and then we got like a tobacco burst as well. So these are a little bit more familiar and just kind of what you have kind of seen with the JP line, but just presumably new finishes. So that's super rad, right? And now we kind of get into more of my speed, the traditional looking guitars from Ernie Ball Music Man. Like I said, the new toasting guitar, not necessarily my favorite thing, these guitars right here, you know, the more dad rocker guitars I can personally get behind just because that's what I like, you know what I mean? So we got some Cutlasses. I love this one right here. Kind of looks like an old 1978-79 Fender Strat Antigua. I love Antigua. It reminds me of my Antigua Jazz Master over there. So that's super sick. This is cool right here. Finally, we get some more hardtails from Ernie Ball Music Man. My biggest gripe or one of my biggest gripes with... Ernie Ball Music Man is they didn't really have any hardtails ever. The only one they had was the Armada and the Armada's no more, right? So we got some Stingray hardtails. I think that's super cool, dude. And by the looks of it, it looks like it also comes in this Antigua finish right here. And then last but not least, we have some Sabres as well. Now the Sabres, to the best of my knowledge, is the newest of like the Cutlass, the Stingray, or you know, all out of the three traditional shapes. Uh, I think these came out like around 2020 if I got my facts right. I really like this kind of blizzard burst looking thing. I think that looks really sick. And then we got a cool bass and then we got some mono uh, big giant padded gig bags with Ernie Ball Music Man on it as well. So overall, man, long winded video and I spent the majority of this video talking about the new Tosa Nabasi guitar because it deserves it, man. I almost made a whole dedicated video about that guitar just because of how rad it is. Like I said in the beginning, not necessarily my favorite thing. Got to be honest with myself. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and pretend like it's my favorite guitar that I've ever seen. But I will give credit where credit's due. It's awesome to see a new guitar design be presented to the market. And, um, you know, it's just cool to see a company as respected and, and praised as, as Ernie Ball Music Man pushing the envelope. You know, they're, like, they're one of the best, if not the best guitar company out there. Um, so it's cool to see them, you know, do something sick with Tosa Nabasi, you know what I mean? With that being said, what do you guys think of my opinions and my thoughts? Leave all your thoughts down below. I will meet you down below in the comments and we'll mix it up and we'll talk all things Ernie Ball Music Man, okay? If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. With that being said, I am out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.